Michael had not paid. I wish he had, and I got a, and I told him. As a mother, that makes you angry, doesn't it? Yes, it does make me angry because he looked guilty. Catherine Jackson, the matriarch of the Jackson family, has long been regarded as a steady presence and a key source of emotional support for Michael Jackson. She has been characterized as a loving mother, someone who sought to protect her children from the darker sides of fame and show business. Michael himself often spoke of his mother with great affection, citing her as the most important figure in his life and one of the few people he could fully trust. Catherine's role as a stabilizing influence is especially important given the tumultuous nature of the Jackson family history and the pressures of Michael's stardom. From a young age, Michael was thrust into the limelight as part of the Jackson Five, a group that achieved enormous success. Catherine, along with her husband Joe Jackson, was instrumental in helping their children develop their talents, although it was Joe who managed and pushed the group aggressively. Michael often spoke about his complex relationship with his father, citing instances of verbal and physical abuse. Rumors have long circulated about how these experiences affected Michael's later behavior and decisions. Catherine has at times confirmed aspects of these claims, acknowledging Joe's strict parenting style while trying to provide context that would allow for a more balanced view of his intentions. Addressing rumors of abuse. One of the enduring rumors regarding Michael Jackson's upbringing is the alleged abuse he suffered at the hands of his father, Joe Jackson. Michael was open about the fact that Joe was a strict disciplinarian, and he often spoke of the fear he felt growing up. This strictness was largely motivated by Joe's desire for his children to succeed in the music industry, but it often crossed the line into physical punishment and emotional abuse. Catherine Jackson has, on several occasions, addressed these rumors. While she has never denied that Joe was extremely strict, she has sometimes downplayed the severity of the abuse. In later interviews, however, Catherine acknowledged that Joe's harsh methods deeply affected Michael, contributing to the insecurities and emotional difficulties he faced throughout his life. Catherine's acknowledgement of these difficulties could be seen as a confirmation of long-standing rumors about the impact of Michael's childhood experiences on his adult life, including his struggles with self-esteem, his changing physical appearance, and his longing for a lost childhood. Michael's struggles with identity and health. Another set of rumors that have long surrounded Michael Jackson relates to his appearance and health. Michael's changing skin tone and numerous plastic surgeries were subjects of intense media scrutiny and public speculation. For years, rumors suggested that Michael underwent surgery to distance himself from his African-American heritage or that he was obsessed with altering his appearance due to deep-seated insecurities. Michael, however, publicly stated that he suffered from vitiligo, a skin condition that causes loss of pigmentation, which was later confirmed in his autopsy. Catherine Jackson has also addressed these rumors, confirming that Michael indeed had vitiligo and that it ran in their family. This acknowledgement helped dispel some of the more malicious rumors that suggested Michael was attempting to become white. Catherine's defense of her son highlighted the pain Michael felt regarding these false accusations, as well as the physical and emotional toll the condition took on him. The confirmation of his health struggles provided a more compassionate understanding of why Michael made certain choices regarding his appearance, such as wearing gloves or using makeup to even out his skin tone. The Allegations of Child Abuse Perhaps the most damaging rumors that Michael Jackson faced during his lifetime were the allegations of child sexual abuse. These allegations first surfaced in 1993 when a young boy accused Michael of molestation and they resurfaced again in 2003, leading to a highly publicized trial in 2005. Michael always vehemently denied these allegations and he was acquitted of all charges in the 2005 trial. However, the rumors continued to haunt his reputation even after his death in 2009. Catherine Jackson has consistently defended her son against these allegations, maintaining that Michael was innocent and that he had a genuine love for children that was often misinterpreted. Catherine has suggested that Michael's childlike nature, which stemmed from his lack of a normal childhood, was exploited by those looking to extort money from him. 
In interviews, she has expressed her belief that Michael was targeted because of his wealth and vulnerability. Catherine's defense of her son serves as a confirmation of what many of Michael's fans have always believed, that he was a victim of false accusations driven by greed, financial troubles, and the pressure of fame. Another aspect of Michael Jackson's life that has been the subject of much speculation is his financial situation. Despite earning hundreds of millions of dollars over his career, Michael was reported to have been in significant debt at the time of his death. Stories of extravagant spending, lawsuits, and financial mismanagement fueled rumors that Michael was struggling to maintain his lifestyle. Catherine Jackson has spoken about Michael's financial troubles, acknowledging that he faced significant pressures to sustain Neverland Ranch and his charitable endeavors. She confirmed that Michael's generous nature often led him to make financial decisions that were not in his best interest. Additionally, the pressures of fame and the constant need to maintain his status as the king of pop led to enormous expenditures on music videos, tours, and the upkeep of his lavish properties. Catherine's confirmation of Michael's financial struggles sheds light on the often overlooked reality that even the most successful artists can face financial instability due to the high costs of maintaining their careers and lifestyles. Michael's legacy and Catherine's role. Since Michael Jackson's death in 2009, Catherine has taken on the role of guardian to his children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket, now known as Biggie. She has also been involved in managing Michael's estate and preserving his legacy. Rumors about family infighting and disputes over Michael's estate have been prevalent, with reports of disagreements between various members of the Jackson family regarding the direction of Michael's posthumous career and financial matters. Catherine has at times confirmed that there have been disagreements within the family, particularly in the immediate aftermath of Michael's death. However, she has always emphasized the importance of unity and has worked to ensure that Michael's children are protected from the negative aspects of fame that affected their father. Catherine's role in confirming these family dynamics provides insight into the challenges faced by the Jackson family as they navigate the complexities of Michael's legacy while trying to protect his children from undue harm. Conclusion Catherine Jackson's role in confirming or addressing the rumors surrounding Michael Jackson's life has been crucial in shaping the public's understanding of the man behind the legend. From acknowledging the difficulties of his childhood and the impact of Joe Jackson's strict parenting to defending Michael against allegations of abuse and clarifying his struggles with Vitigo, Catherine has sought to provide a more nuanced and compassionate view of her son. The rumors and controversies that surrounded Michael Jackson were often sensationalized by the media, leading to a distorted perception of who he was. Catherine's confirmations, though sometimes subtle, offer glimpses into the real struggles Michael faced. Struggles with identity, health, financial pressures, and the burden of fame. Her perspective reminds us that behind the image of the King of Pop was a human being who faced challenges that were often misunderstood or misrepresented by the public. Catherine Jackson's statements help preserve Michael's legacy, not just as an iconic performer, but as a person who, despite his flaws and challenges, sought to bring joy to millions around the world. Her willingness to confirm certain rumors while dispelling others allows for a more balanced understanding of Michael's life, ultimately honoring his memory and the incredible contributions he made to music and popular culture.